Not one mountain biker I spoke with had a clue. July 20th is Ride a Mountain Bike Day. Oh yeah, I had no idea, but uh, now I'm here to celebrate, so it should be a good time. How big is mountain biking for you? How important is it? Oh, uh, I've been doing it my entire life, and uh, I've been riding Mount Bachelor since they opened, so uh, I'm glad they have a bike park here. I think it's great for the city of Bend. It's good for all the kids out here. Ride a Mountain Bike Day started in 2017 with one goal to get more people out riding the trails to enjoy the stoke that mountain biking always brings. Our bike park's really focused on downhill mountain biking, where in Bend and the public trails, it's a lot more cross country. So this kind of fills the void for the um, downhill, less pedaling, uh, exhilaration riding. If pedaling a bike to blend your milkshake sounds like fun, head on over to Mountain Burger a restaurant in Northwest Crossing that is observing Ride a Mountain Bike Day. One of our goals with this uh, restaurant group and this company is to be uh, as sustainably uh, focused as possible. And so we thought what better way to meet what we do and what our community loves in mountain biking than doing pedal powered milkshakes. It only takes a couple of minutes of pedaling to blend a milkshake on the Fender Blender. The one they made me is called a unicorn. It consists of vanilla ice cream, raspberry syrup, and whipped cream topped with fruity pebbles. More than enough sugar to power an afternoon of mountain biking. On what percentage of Ben rides mountain biking? 100%. <laughs> no, I have to say about half the population at least. I mean, you should see Phil's trailhead on a Friday afternoon after work. According to organizers of this unofficial holiday, Ride a Mountain Bike Day is owned by everyone who rides a bike, and anyone can get involved in helping make it a global movement.